Right, so everybody welcome to the Lincoln Nebraska skyline we're up here on top of a parking garage we were taking some pictures but uh, what a great place to start a video huh let's go put some miles on all right you gotta turn around first why can't I go that way when well, it doesn't go all the way through it looks like it goes all the way through okay try it I'll wait huh? here go ahead and try it I'll wait here <laughs> well I'm going out so Oh, there's a ramp there. There is. Oh, I didn't know that. So you're like in the floor below me then, huh? Yeah. Oh, we are going to race now, ain't we? <laughs> Which way is the exit? Out, right. Where it says out? Yeah. not good I gotta wait for you to come out because we gotta share the ticket are you already down there yeah how did you beat me I thought I was chasing you I thought so too I was waiting for you to come up behind me <laughs> um I just I'm at the other end oh, I'm going the wrong way hmm. shit <laughs> Hold on. you just go out this way See, I can go out this way. It's the same thing to just go out this way. Um, do I, I can't get out. Do I need to come find you? <laughs> I gotta park. <laughs> hmm? I don't know where I'm going. I gotta go all the way back up and all the way back down. Seriously? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that's what it looks like I have to do. <clears throat> you can't just Maybe? go around the circle? Out. Okay. Hold on. I can hear you. Okay, which way is out? You just out. go the way it says out, remember? And I can still hear you. <laughs> <laughs> out. Out. I'm pretty sure I just did this. Oh no. <laughs> I don't know how to get out. I can hear you. Out. Okay, this is. There, there it is. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> the whole time I was waiting for you <laughs> to come up behind me. <laughs> hmm. Funny. What are these people doing? What are they doing? I don't know. Oh, okay. So, see that opening over there? Uh-huh. Have fun. Go out that way. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> what? <clears throat> oh, okay. Thank you. <laughs> really want to slap your hand. <laughs> COVID. Oh, uh, hi. Gloves on. Um. Okay. Does she work here? She must. I thought she was going to yell at us for hogging <laughs> for me. Kind of. Where are you going, babe? And on a little bit. This way? Not what they're doing. I don't know what they're doing. I thought she I was. I thought she was going to yell at us. Right I now. thought so too because I was not taking it easy through there. So, Miss Davy, there's something I want to talk about. It's about a video that I just watched on YouTube the other day. Oh, yeah? I mean, it's about Can I watch it too, maybe? One of my favorite moto vloggers who is, from the way I understand it, uh, stopping his channel for a couple months. Yeah, I know who you're talking about now. Because, now this is the way I understand it. If I'm wrong, Daniel, please correct me. But the way I understand it is that Harley Davidson is basically threatening him to take down some of his videos or to stop doing his videos 
or they are going to penalize one of his friends who owns a Harley Davidson dealership down in Australia, Geelong Harley Davidson. For those of you guys that don't know, Daniel Hayes is a moto vlogger from down in Australia. He does amazing moto vlogs. He does awesome trips, the kind of trips that you, you get jealous over, you know? And not just down in Australia, he's, he's gone from Seattle to, to Prudhoe Bay up in uh, Alaska. He's a, he's a real estate agent down there in, in Australia and stuff and I mean the guy's, the guy's got a chunk of money and he likes to, to burn his money, you know, which no problem. He says he rides his Harley the way that he does for mental health because that's like his release, which hey, I ride my bike for, you know, to leave the world for a while too, so. But here's what, here's what sets me all wrong on this deal is that Harley Davidson is trying to muscle their way into his channel and the way they did it is that they're trying to hurt one of his friends. That, <clears throat> that does not sit well with me, neither does that car doing that. That ain't cool either. That does not sit well with me. I don't, I don't like it. I don't, I think it's pathetic that if Harley is seeing something that they don't like and they're trying to muscle their way out by hurting somebody, one of his friends or something like that, you know? That's like yeah. somebody holding somebody hostage. Harley Davidson is holding his buddy's dealership hostage until they get what they want. That is so... That cool. He does nothing but praise Harley Davidson up and down constantly. Now he says some of the stuff they do is stupid, but he's right. Some of the stuff they do is stupid. I, I, I agree. I don't, under, I don't understand somebody thinking that they're so powerful that they're going to they're gonna stop somebody else's YouTube channel because it isn't going the way that they want it to. I, I just, man, that's just, and what I under, gets, go what ahead. What gets me though is like, he's got like this huge stance on, you know, his channel, but it's not going to change the whole Harley Davidson, you know, just by what he says, you know, it's more going to change against Harley Davidson for what they're doing to him. Exactly. Because I am, I'm going to try to blow this up as big as I can. Uh, it's it, it makes me so mad I'm getting goosebumps I mean it just oh <laughs> I mean and and I I love watching million dollar bogans videos I don't agree with everything he says but I don't get on his channel and comment and say well that's stupid why would you do this why would you do that you know I don't I don't do that I still watch the the content it's still entertaining and if you don't like it, don't watch it. Hey, Harley, if you don't like his channel, don't watch it. It's that simple. Now, to me, because we don't have near as many subscribers as Daniel does, but to me, he's a huge channel. Yeah. But even him being a huge channel is nothing compared to the size of Harley Davidson. Exactly. And if Harley Davidson thinks that his channel is going to affect their company... I've said it before that I don't think that the way that they're marketing their product is is correct. Do I know a solution? No. Do I have a solution? No. Do I have ideas? Yes, I do. I have ideas. But the thing that Daniel Hayes does, and he went to Seattle and rented Harley Davidsons to go up to Alaska. He rented them. He could have rented anything he wanted, but he rented Harleys. He, he owns a Road King that he just throttles and beats the living crap out of. But he owns it. It's his bike. And now he owns a CVO. He could have went and bought anything he wanted, but he wanted to buy a Harley Davidson CVO. Hey, I got a leaf that wants to hang with me. Do you? Yeah, look at that. <laughs> That's for you. I don't want it. <laughs> I mean, I do want it. <laughs> I want anything that you give me. Oh. How you doing? <laughs> 
Now, I, I think I've got the facts straight, but I might not. But that's the gist of it, the way that I've got it. He's stopping his channel because Harley Davidson is threatening his buddy, Colin, that owns Geelong Harley Davidson. Which he does, I mean, he does stuff with Geelong Harley Davidson to help promote. He's promoting the Harley Davidson brand. And you're gonna penalize him for that? I will say though, I want to go to Australia and I want to go to Geelong just so I can go meet Colin at Geelong Harley-Davidson. If I'm getting his name right, I think I am. It's either Colin or Colin or something like that. Cole. I thought it was Cole at first, but that's wrong. Because he seems like he's one of the coolest guys on the planet. Yeah, he does. He actually has a head on his shoulders, you know? Harley-Davidson? I was upset and I'm keeping my Harley-Davidson. What's that tell you? It's not affecting your company any that he makes videos. So get off your high horse. I don't know. What are your takes on it, Amy? What? I mean, does I was it, sad. Does it make you as mad as it makes me, though? Or is it yeah. just kind of like, eh? No, it makes me furious because why? It, it, they're backing him into a corner and they're being mean about it and they're being bullies. And we're, this nation is against bullying, I thought. And here the head, head Harley Davidson people are doing that. But you know what? I have to say that motor vlogging matters. It does. It absolutely does. How many people have we talked to so far that have said they've bought a Honda Fury because of our channel? Yes. And our channel is we. Yes. That's what I'm trying to get at. I, I, I agree with you. It's so sad that they they feel like they have to do something like that. I understand that he ruins some of the Harleys that, well, a lot of the Harleys that he has. But you know what? He keeps buying them. Exactly. I mean, how many has he bought? He said on the, on the video. So to me, I don't understand where they're going with this. And maybe there's a lot more that we don't know. I mean, there's always two sides to every story, but... That's very true. I mean, he doesn't want to hurt his friend's business. You know, he thought that he was doing something fun and promoting it, not putting it down. So, I don't know. I I think it's pretty pathetic. It's pretty sad. I agree. And after he trashes his Harley-Davidson, guess what? He takes it to a Harley-Davidson dealer to get it fixed. Yeah. And they fix everything that's wrong with it every single time. It would be different if he was taking it somewhere and he was saying, well, I bought this Harley, but I hate Harleys, so I'm trashing it. Yeah. And then when, I'm, then when I'm done with it, I'm going to drop it in a hole. No, it's, I love my Harley Davidson. I ride it the way I ride it because it's mine and I ride it however I want. And then I take it back to a Harley Davidson dealer, to the people that I trust. And he even says in his video that he considers family and he gets it fixed. I don't know. I, um, I'm very upset with it. I'll probably get over it. But I hate it that Harley Davidson has taken Million Dollar Bogan away from me. I'm going to be selfish about it. How about that? Daniel Hayes did say next year that him and Perry are going to try to come to the United States. Oh, really? I'm going to put this on record. If you guys come through Nebraska, you've got a free place to stay and a warm cooked meal. How about that? And I'll edit that out if you want me to. <laughs> that That's me running it by you first. <laughs> <laughs> Anything you want to add? I think you covered it. <laughs> so, everybody but Harley Davidson, if you like this video, hit the like button. If you want to see more stuff like this, subscribe. And hit the bell notification so you know when we load up next. And until next time. Everybody stay cool, including Harley Davidson. Be cool. Quit being dumb. And we will see you 